Roblox scams. I mean, we've all seen, we've all seen them, and chances are, if, a few of you guys who are watching this might have actually fallen victim to a lot of these scams. In this video, I'm going to be discussing a lot of the methods that people use to uh, to scam and how to avoid them, and also what to do if you end up getting scammed. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. One scam that you guys have probably seen going around on TikTok is the JavaScript scam. Basically, it involves a person convincing their audience to insert a JavaScript script into a into their uh, URL address bar to get a reward like Robux or like a free item or something. But instead, what happens is that the script buys a specific t-shirt for the amount of Robux that the user has. Because the thing is, usually, like, on TikTok, a lot of the people that are on there are, like, kids who are, like, I don't know, like, 12 or 13 or something. They, chances are, probably don't know JavaScript very well. So, they're often tricked into doing the script not knowing what it actually does. So, basically, how to avoid this, just don't put specific scripts in your URL just because some rando on TikTok told you to. To be honest, I, Roblox TikTok kind of disgusts me. I mean, like, seriously, I feel like, like, it's pretty much where Slenders and Copy and Paste go to to show off their baby girls or or whatever I don't know <laughs> as well as of course showing off their gross misshapen bodies <laughs> so yeah anyway next scam the t-shirt scam basically uh, the scammer will publish a shirt on to the Roblox avatar shop with the name such as admin for uh, what insert game name here or mod for uh, for murder mystery usually sold for a relatively low price like you won't usually see it for more than like 500 robux basically they advertise a privilege or service in a game and they but they don't follow through cuz i don't think you can actually do that with a shirt i mean this was really common in the old days of robo uh, roblo uh, or roblox <laughs> Uh, seriously, can't talk today. But since Game Passes became a thing, this kind of scam has kind of died out. Because I think they used to distribute uh, privileges via Game Passes in old Roblox. I don't know, because I didn't, because I've never played old Roblox. But now that, it, now that Game Passes exist, you won't see this as much. Then we have the Drawn Portrait scam. Basically, you might see an advertisement or two that advertise that the that's that you can get your Roblox avatar drawn by someone for a fee through the purchase of an item. Once once you purchase the item, the scammer does not follow through with drawing and might even block you to try to prevent further contact. Many of these items are deleted by moderators, though you can still find a few on the website. Though <laughs> Since moderators, this is the one, one of the very few things that they actually crack down on for the right reasons, uh, you won't, this scam has kind of lost popularity. And then we have fake game passes. Now, you guys have probably seen, like, a lot of those fake Adopt Me games that claim that you can buy pets. Basically, the perpetrator sells a game pass that advertises special in-game features, like Adopt Me Pets, uh, but you don't get them after you purchase the Game Pass. Now, these types of scams were very commonly used by uh, by a Robloxian but, uh, who went by the name of Jared Valdez 4, who I talked about in, in one of my previous videos. So be sure to check those out for more information about him. Yeah, now as for how to avoid these fake Game Pass scams, remember that, it, well, that the thing is, like, most of these games, well, you can, like, like and dislike Game Passes, so if it has a lot, a disproportionate amount of dislikes, then it's likely a scam. Even then, any game that claims to sell you Adopt Me Pets is obviously a scam. 
And the pro but the problem is, so many people fall for this. It's insane. I mean, like, I remember a while back, Koneko Kitten did a video where he looked at one of these scam games, and there were so many purchases of these fake game passes. I mean, like, it was, I think, over 100,000 Robux or something. Uh, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've watched that video, but still. Uh, either way, just, when in doubt, don't buy. And then we have the product scam. In this one, the scammer sells in-game power-ups or items as developer products. If you're wondering what an example of this would be, it would be like, I don't know, say, in a tycoon game where you can buy, like, extra money or whatever. Or, like, in those copy-paste obbies where you can buy weapons or whatever. Basically, these products, unlike game passes, aren't stored in your inventory, and you can purchase them multiple times. And if you leave the game, you have to purchase the items again. Now, bait-and-switch games frequently use this scam. So, yeah. Once again, just be very careful as to what you purchase. Then we have the invisible shirt scam. Basically, uh, the, the scammer publishes an ad that claims that they... Uh, have it that they're selling some clothing that causes your avatar to become invisible when in reality the clothing is transparent which doesn't create an invisible avatar but instead just makes it look like you're not wearing a shirt and if there's no preview they claim the, then the scammer claims that the image is broken when in reality it was just rejected by moderators and rightfully so once again uh, and i think this can go for most of these be very careful as to what you purchase. Next up, we have the Save 10% Scam, where a scammer tells players to visit their game and claims that purchasing any item will save the player 10%, when in reality it gives the owner of the game, uh, i.e. the scammer, 10% of the price, and, y and the victims have to pay the full price. So, yeah. Once again, just be careful when dealing with these. And if something looks like a scam, don't buy it. Now, next up is the color changing shirt scam, which is like the invisible shirt scam, only instead of claiming that the uh, that the shirt makes you invisible, it claims that, that it's a GIF and changes color in games. When in reality, it does nothing and it's usually just like either green or completely, or once again, it's like the invisible shirt scam and it's pretty much a transparent texture that makes you look shirtless. In reality, uh, yeah, however, the thing is, oftentimes, they, uh, these scammers make videos and post them on YouTube claiming that their clothing works, when in reality, uh, they edit it in with a green screen while wearing an all green shirt. And you can definitely see some errors. Like, for example, it's starting on, say, yellow uh, at one point, and then starting at, like, orange at a different one. I don't know. Uh, basically, thing is, like... Yeah, uh, the description of these will often say that the reason why it doesn't load uh, as the, like, uh, like, in the thumbnail or whatever, or when you try it on... It is because it's a GIF, when in reality, it's because the clothing is moderated, so once again, it doesn't allow you to see what you're buying very easily. So, yeah. Then we have the Admin Game Pass scam. This scam you've probably seen and probably fallen for before. Basically, you'll see it in role-playing games like Adopted Raise a Baby or Life in Paradise or any copies of those two games. Basically, it, they end up selling admin commands, game passes that look that pretty much say you watch like a YouTuber like Flamingo or or J and G, and you see them messing around with admin commands in one of these games, and you think, you know, I kind of want to try that. Uh, so you buy the admin commands game pass, but then you learn that it only allows you like a handful of commands that you can only use on yourself 
which are also called VIP admin. Basically, it's a type of it's a type of bait and switch scam. And usually these game passes have like tons of dislikes because of it. And they're usually worth way more than and these types of game passes are worth way more than they should be. They uh, basically or more like they cost way more than they should. Uh, basically, they're usually around 800 Robux, when in reality, they're probably worth around, like, probably 200, 400 tops. I don't know. Either way, don't buy them. They're a scam. Now we have the cheaper game product scam, which is one where the scammer sells game passes promising a usually valuable product in another game at a cheaper Robux price, such as Neon Fly Ride Legendaries and Adopt Me. And keep in mind, these games are, more often than not, not connected to each other and give you absolutely nothing, wasting the, the victim's Robux. Once again, if someone claims that you can get Adopt Me Pets from buying a Game Pass uh, or something, just know that that is definitely a scam. Next up, we have various different types of phishing scams. Basically, scams that... Uh, that try to get your sensitive information think basically they try to get your sensitive information by pretending to be a legitimate service only to end up like trying to scam you out of your robux or your ac account or even to install viruses and other malware on your computer <laughs> they're probably one of the, among the most common scams on roblox and they're usually targeted towards noobs and younger players who who have not made any sort of purchases on their accounts basically and the thing is once these users are fished so to speak their account is added to a botnet which the thief uses to spread more scams I mean which is why you always see a lot of those like noobs that are pretty much scamming people on Roblox because the thing is most of them are pretty much accounts that just got stolen so yeah and this usually results in the victim's account being terminated if it's reported for spreading these scams. It can also result in them being unfriended, considering the fact that they may never uh, get that account back, or that the person thinking they're... Uh, and also the, that person that they were friends with thinking that their friend has dropped so low that they're willing to scam little kids, when in reality they are likely the little kids that got scammed. So, yeah. Anyway, the first one of these scams is, is if a scammer messages you through Roblox messages and asks for, for your username and password in return for Robux or services like Roblox Premium. Usually, the scammer ends up stealing your account. Or, actually, that's kind of what happens. Uh, pretty much almost all the time when this happens. Uh, basically, the scam became more common and was often done by sending a message to players while playing a front page game and after you enter the credentials it's the the owner gets it and logs into your account and hacks it at which point the scammer uses the your hacked account to scam other players once again it's this is why two factor authentication is a must yeah so make sure to enable that and also, don't give anyone your user, your password or anything like that. I mean, that's common knowledge, but seriously, just don't. Then we have the free Robux Zombie. I think I've also talked about this in my uh, Robo in my uh, like video about bait and switch games. Basically, it's a simple obby that promises you Robux if you complete it, at which point they uh, they prompt you to enter your username or password, allowing their creator to log into your account, steal your Robux and Limiteds, although, although that's going to be a thing of the past soon if you have two-factor authentication involved. Or worse, they could even try to dox you, since if you have your email address verified, they can literally just leak that. So, yeah. Don't play them, and if you... Yeah, because the thing is, the more you play them, the the more uh, total plays it'll have, and it will increase the chance at which people will think it's legitimate, though usually the number of dislikes kind of makes you know that it's not. Uh, well, in 
unless it's one of those games that's that tell uh, says in the title or description to dislike the the game but still uh although personally i like going into these games to try to like but instead of putting in my password i put in things like stop scamming people and get a real job you lazy pile of diarrhea just to like blow up their web hook the, or just to make it so instead of getting actual passwords their discord server that the uh, passwords get sent to via a webhook just ends up getting filled with that. Or, at the very least, if the uh, the person ends up, like, having a little script that kicks you out after, like, three alleged failed attempts, uh, then they'll end up, like, then they'll at least hopefully see the message. So, yeah. Next up is fear-mongering, where a scammer will pretend to be an official Roblox associate and message a user and ask them if they're the rightful owner of the account, uh, saying an apparent increase in the user's account value and claiming that they've already messaged another user who failed to uh, provide proof and had their account deleted. And if the user gives an explanation, the scammer asks them to contact them on, like, Discord or something, uh, or gives them a URL. After which, the end result is the victim's account being fished or hijacked, usually because the scammer asks the victim to send an image of their password reset email with the link visible, or is asked to use inspect element in order to extract their robo security cookie, which is pretty much their login session token, and send it to the scammer. Basically, it's u aimed at users who have a high average value of limited items in their inventories. Uh, so, if your inventory is private, you don't really have to worry as much about this. So, yeah. And also, if you turn your messages off, I mean, that's pretty obvious, but still. Uh, and also, one thing to keep in mind is that this scam is probably going to end up not being as uh, prevalent. Because, once again, uh, Roblox is actually making it so if you have two-factor authentication, that that prevents scammers from stealing your limiteds if you do get hacked. So, yeah. Then we have uh, scammers request requesting your login info by sending you friend requests. Basically, they follow you and send you a friend request, uh, and their username will persuade you to click on their profile, and their profile description will contain an off-site link that prompts you to input your login information usually for a reward of Roblox Premium or Robux. It's often more effective than the, just the simple Roblox messages, since users can limit the number of people who can mes message them. <laughs> uh, but you, you can't, like, limit the number of people who sends you friend requests. Uh, although, you can pretty much just ignore them. That's pretty much what I do all the time. I mean, I already have my messages turned off. Sometimes scammers will also leave comments asking you to give a, your account information to an email address, usually listing false reasons that, that can seem convincing to noobs. Or, also, scammers might sometimes leave comments directing users to links that that give exploit tools for Roblox, which will get you banned anyway, because Roblox cracks down pretty hard on exploits. Uh, and these exploits will ask for your login info. So, yeah. And other times, scammers will end up directing you to a link that downloads an, a .exe file, which is often advertised as hacks or exploits, onto your computer. Once again, never use any of those for Roblox, even the ones that seem legitimate, because the ones that aren't scams will get you banned from Roblox anyway. Because, once again, Roblox actually cracks hard, down hard on those things. Basically, when executed, they pretty much will end up injecting malicious code into your system to gain information and provide complete control of the user's desktop. So, in other words, it's a remote access tool, or RAT. Not only does it end up compromising your Roblox account, but your entire computer, which can include your banking information, your passwords for 
pretty much every website, documents, and it could even destroy, it could even mangle your Windows installation. And antivirus programs like Avast or Bitdefender will try to quarantine these programs. So if you have good antivirus, you probably don't have to worry about it. Although recent .exe files have also been known to log robo security tokens. Because the although because these programs only take cookies and direct them through webhooks, antivirus applications fail to find its intentions malicious. So that pretty much renders that kind of useless. But uh, you probably shouldn't be installing random EXEs in the first place. Although the thing is, the accounts that are stolen this way usually end up being sold, uh, which is also bad. Like you can't sell a Roblox account. Like it'll get the account banned. So yeah. And also, similar to all the, to the million and one scams that try to steal your Robo security token, there are also ones where where a scammer can gain access to a user's auth ticket, uh, which pretty much allows them to join. Basically, an auth ticket is required to join games and authenticate your user. If a scammer were to get their hands on this, they could join your games under. They could join games under your username with a simple batch command and buy in-game purchases like game passes or products without your knowledge. Uh, I mean, if you have Roblox Plus, which is a Google Chrome extension, uh, they will. It will warn you if you when you input an auth ticket link. So yeah, uh, that's actually a really useful thing so yeah I don't have Roblox Plus installed but I don't really have to worry about any of those since I don't go to any sketchy websites like that so yeah and now we have yet another JavaScript scam only instead of just stealing your Robux this one actually steals your account by making you paste the JavaScript into the inspect element console which allows the scammer to have full, somewhat full access to your account, and they can steal your limiteds, robux, groups, everything. And then there's fake websites. Basically, like, say you end up spelling roblox.com with a capital I instead of a lowercase l, or maybe you try to spell, or you end up like accidentally going on to like or you end up mistyping the URL and it's one letter off. Uh, then you could end up on a something that looks like the real Roblox website, but is actually a very realistic fake copy of it. And it, and sometimes these websites, and basically they have login forms, and sometimes they claim to give you a fake reward that needs to be posted on several real Roblox games or, or whatever. And it pretty much just steals the user's login information and promotes a scam using the stolen account, like most of these uh, these phishing scams do. There's also fake browser extensions. Basically, after Roblox disabled comments on games and certain items and stuff, uh, and game passes, attackers started creating fake extensions that look legitimate, uh, but after they're installed, they steal your robo security cookie and your auth ticket. And it will also post said info to a web server or like a Discord channel or whatever. There's also botted Roblox places. Basically, it's a Roblox game that tells you to go to an offsite link that claims to give out free Robux or premium, botted with bot accounts in the thousands in order to get the game on the front page, and sometimes like botting, though this kind of thing is not really as prevalent anymore since you have to join games to like them. And though these games are usually taken down very quickly, so yeah. And then we have the scam that I see way too often, which is the Roblox related advertisements you see on like YouTube. Advertisements that promise things like free Robux or premium that redirect you to either another scammy YouTube channel or to a scam site. Uh, most of the ones I see direct you to scam sites. 
and I report them constantly. YouTube oftentimes doesn't do anything about them because it's one of the very few websites that in some ways has worse moderation than Roblox. And, well, yeah. I mean, seriously. Like, you guys probably remember that mid-roll ad that sometimes appeared on, on videos of YouTubers like Flamingo or Koneko Kitten where they say, Stop! Stop right now! And they pretty much end up and they pretty much end up sending you to like a fake free robot uh, free robux game and stuff so yeah <laughs> or not game like a fake free robux scam site that either steals your token steals your uh your login information or uh, sends you down a bottomless pit of surveys all while installing malware on your computer so yeah never go to those just if you see one of those scam advertisement video things just report them and maybe youtube will ban them i don't know also i'm getting a little tired moving around various places in brookhaven like this so i'm probably gonna stay in this spot for a while so yeah anyway next scam is the group wall post scams where it, where in certain groups you'll see scam bots just raiding the group wall uh, with scam messages that lead to like scam games and stuff like the flamingo fan group often has a ton of these as well as pretty much a lot of other popular groups so yeah it, and it also occurs on groups where the group wall isn't really that active so yeah then there's those fake free robux games where well i already told you about those where they ask you to input your login information and stuff so yeah then there's also uh fake uh, free item scams where where you receive messages from friends or random users saying that if you use a fake code on a scam website you get a free valuable item and visiting the site you're shown a login screen similar to that of roblox's official site and if you enter your username and password your uh, your account will end up being hacked beamed and possibly used to spread said scam further then there's the guilt scam, which happens in really large Discord servers that have Rover, which is like this thing that allows these servers to authenticate you via your Roblox account. Basically, they pick a random person from the server who has their Roblox name as a nickname because of Rover. Then they'll say that they lost that friend by accidentally deleting them and claim that the account is hacked. Once the user friends them on Discord, they join a game. The scammer fools the victim by pretending to go on the website and randomly being logged out. They claim that since they were the victim of an account trading scam, they then guilt the user into giving them their password to share their account. They claim they won't touch anything. Once the victim gives them the, the password through Discord, the scammer unfriends them and steals the account. And these scams usually take a while, like about three hours. So, yeah. And here's, and next up is a scam that has actually appeared on my channel. And I've had to ban people, I had had, had to block a few of these scams. Uh, basically, uh, there's a channel that says, Hi, I'm, ra insert random female name here. If you don't mind, check out my video. And they basically comment on random small roblox youtubers videos and uh, since i am a small roblox youtuber i've encountered these and they're made by bots and they're typically random short phrases like most of the ones i've seen are like three letters long and many of these scam channels are hijacked channels from like 2006 and they have a shared video which is a phishing scam that leads you to a fake free robux thing uh, and they also make random hijacked accounts comment that it's real to make it look le look legitimate and comments that aren't made by the bots get deleted automatically so yeah <laughs> thankfully i'm pretty on the ball when it comes to these uh, so so you probably so if you see one on my channel like uh, and i haven't seen it yet it just like message me on Twitter or something, or well, just like at me on Twitter or something or or whatever, or maybe 
Eh, I don't know. Just, uh, I can be contacted uh, through Twitter. Just at me, and you might, and I might see it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, next up uh, is the dot .har file scam. Basically, a scammer would contact someone, usually via Discord, to convince the user to create a, a ha dot .har file, which is an HTTP archive file, for, for the Roblox website to do something for the scammer. In reality, the said HAR file for the website contains all the user's cookies, uh, including the Roblo security one. Koneko Kitten has talked about this scam before. And, well, yeah. And then there's the spam click purchase scam, where the game makes you... where a scam game makes you rapidly click a button, and while clicking, the purchase prompt will appear in the spot that you're clicking in. And the victim is usually clicking so fast that they unintentionally buy an item, which is usually a poorly made shirt for, like, somewhere between 15 and 100 Robux. Uh, though, if you don't have any Robux, you're safe from this. Then, there's there's another scam where a scammer will message you something similar to, like, I'm making a game and I want to put your avatar in it. Can you send me a decal of your character? And there's another version of this that asks for the same thing, but... The message is about a graphic art commission. The scammer sends you a link to paste in your browser, which uses JavaScript to steal your Robo security cookie. Next up is another scam that Koneko's talked about. Basically, it started September of last year, where you'd get a get a message via Roblox messages from a bot. Uh, the message follows the format of "You scammed my cousin," <laughs> lol, or sometimes lol, nice try, and the message. Body says, everyone knows what you did that day. It's everywhere. All your info is in the video, too. Emailed Roblox, by the way. Next time, try to keep it low-key. There's a whole gif of you doing it. Lol. Enjoy all your info leaked. The message would then have a link to copy and paste in your search engine browser with the instruction to remove the space between dot and com. And it redirects you to a phishing site where the alleged evidence is which doesn't just steal your Roblox account, but can also steal your Microsoft, Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Apple, Google, or Amazon accounts, and more, especially if you registered the same email for all your accounts. These scams also say that they have a video with all your personal information on this site with a GIF or video, and other times they end up having uh, sending you messages like we're coming for you scammer or did you really just scam my cousin lol uh, basically uh, I mean I'm pretty sure a person would know if they scammed so yeah I mean that's so if some rando just comes up to you and say and says that uh, that they have alleged evidence of you scamming their friend or cousin or whatever uh, yeah Basically, if you know you didn't scam their cousin, chances are it's fake evidence. But don't go to the website for curiosity's sake unless you want, want all your accounts hacked. Though, I guess if you do it on a VM where you haven't logged into anything, you have nothing to lose. So, yeah. But still, I personally wouldn't risk it. Then, in October of last year, uh, you, scammers started sending users links through private message on Discord that look like links to profile picture to a user's profile on Roblox when it's actually a site that logs your cookies, including Robo Security. Then May of last year, uh, it start basically users would get a message telling you that testers are needed for their game and they're willing to pay those testers as well as uh, for people to be testers in the game and they need to go to a link. After you follow that link, uh, your Roblox security, your Robo security token will end up going to the scammer. And basically, it, now this scam usually targets older players who just got back into Roblox after a long hiatus, so yeah. Anyway, then here's one I've talked about before, the play button scam where you pretty much use an exploit to hide the purchase prompt in a game and tricks you into clicking a play button when in reality you're giving your robux to the scammer. I mean, I talked about this in a previous video, so yeah, uh, I don't think I really need to explain much about it here. 
So, yeah, next up is the subscribe and friend scam. Basically, scammers tell the, tell the victim to subscribe to their YouTube channel and friend them to, to receive a free item. The link to the profile is in the description of, of a video on their YouTube channel, but this y URL does not go to their Roblox profile. The site shows you're logged out, and it's apparently a password scam. Uh, but the thing is, when the victim tries to log in, they're sent to the real Roblox site, but instead their account is locked with a PIN, and the scammers will have your information. The scammers will also try to join games and trade the victim's items to the scammer's account or get the victim's personal information. This especially this mainly happens on like unofficial trading websites for Roblox players, which by the way, if I remember correctly, I don't think Roblox approves of those. So yeah. And keep in mind these sites help the user find trade offers for items in games like Adopt Me, Royale High, or Murder Mystery 2. The training sites uh, themselves are safe and secure, and even the fake Roblox link uh, ends up having like the HTTPS thing, w complete with the little lock icon. But the fake site will still steal your account, and you can only get it back by contacting customer support and hoping that you get a competent uh, moderator. So, yeah. Okay, so I decided to move houses because I was born to, bored of the scenery. And wait, actually, I think I'm going to sit over here. Or wait, no, that's a little too close. <laughs> Probably should have chosen where I wanted to sit before starting, like, unpausing the recording, but oh well. Anyway, next up is soft scams, which aren't as severe and pretty much just waste your time. There's teleport places. I explained these in my bait and switch games video. Basically, uh, they teleport you to another game to gain place visits. So yeah, uh, and then there's also a uh, uh, fake YouTube live streams that promise you free Robux, has bots as moderators and people listening to attract more viewers, and they also uh, also loop fake videos of them giving Robux to someone. And they often include several links to scam sites. And they also often have a word filter which, mil which mutes anyone who says that the live stream is fake. They also tell you to stay in the stream for a while to get points and join their group. And they may use old clips. Honestly, what I usually do is I often find some of these scam things. And I pretty much just end up spamming in the chat. By you with a font generator, because oftentimes they don't filter out the uh, the fonts from font generators. Basically, I end up scamming that it's a fake live stream and that they're, they're not going to give you Robux. Granted, people often don't listen, but still. Basically, I just try to spam that for a little while. I also report them in hopes that YouTube just straight up takes down their uh, their live stream, but still. Then there's the bait and switch obbies that tell you to finish for a surprise or for a free item, but when you finish, they're teleported to another bait and switch uh, obby. Uh, or they teleport you to the start of a game, you don't receive anything. Or they say finish again for cool gear or Robux or premium. Or they send you to a tycoon. So, yeah. And it's usually like one of those bait and switch copy and paste tycoons. So, yeah. And there's also a variant of this where someone says that only 1% of people have ever beaten the game or that no one has ever beaten it. Though, they they pretty much just end up... It's pretty much usually the same thing. Copy-paste obbies or whatever. Or then there's... Now, this is one that... Now, next up is a scam that was... Well, it you don't really see it anymore, but there used to be, like, back when tickets were a thing... People would say that there's a crazy glitch at their place, even though it's just a normal place. And it basically, because the thing is, like, every time someone get, visited your place back when tickets were a thing, you'd get a ticket. So, yeah. Uh, of course, since tickets were removed, you don't see the scam anymore. Then there's those spam comments that were uh, basically where you copy and paste messages on a number of items in order to get something, even though you get absolutely nothing. Basically, it's when... Basically, usually you'll see noobs typing slash E free, 
because they think they'll get something for free when they won't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whenever comments are enabled on the item. Uh, so, yeah. Or then there's those meme games where that copy description and thumbnails, but in, in reality, they pretty much present you with image spam, like stick bugs, or the Henry Stickman distraction dance, or or they end up Rick rolling you. I think there's also those you got gnomed things. I don't know if I haven't encountered them, but I just imagine that someone has made at least one. And then there's one that's prevalent in Adopt Me, where uh, where a player encounters, where a scammer encounters a gullible player with good pets, usually a little kid. Uh, then they bait the gullible player into saying that they'll give an impossible amount of Robux that can only be obtained by either selling clothing, usually a million or higher, or, and then the gullible player falls for it by giving the, uh, the pets. Then the scammer leaves. And it also happens in Murder Mystery 2, where people try and trade someone with valuable knives or guns and attempt to remove the, their offer last second. And then there's the, a harmless variant of that I'm making a game scam that I mentioned earlier, where the scammer asks you to mo for a model of your character and asks for it in a zip file to put in a group image or game image uh, and be awarded with commissions. But then once the scammer receives the model, they block the victim. It's pretty harmless, though it does waste your time. Uh, so, yeah. Of course, there's also scam bots. Basically, they're, they're those bots that end up going into, like, into games or on group walls and end up directing you to scam sites that claim that you can get free Robux or whatever. I don't know. Uh, basically, and they sometimes go on Discord and YouTube and stuff. Basically, there's different types of them. Notably, pretender bots. These were pretty common at the beginning of the year. Basically, they they will end up typing out a randomly generated message, spam spaces, and then type out more text starting with system or Roblox, and then announce a scam website or promote one, depending on what is used, and then quickly leave the game. Sometimes they'll stay and type more random generated messages. Although if the username is like gibberish letters or or it pretty much has one of those like has or if there's like several users with the same prefix like say I don't know crabby best or whatever uh, they'll end up saying uh, they'll end up happening then you'll pretty much know it's a scam. They also will sometimes and also uh at the beginning of the year, they ended up saying that the user's friend visited the scam site and earned free Rob Robux for, from, plan from being on it. And pretty much, and they're really hard to report since they leave so fast. So, yeah. Another type of scam is basically those scam bots that are self somewhat self-aware that they're scam bots and saying those bots are giving out scam sites check out this scam site to earn free robux yeah i mean seriously uh, i don't know basically and then there's like cat bots who go into games and spam flood the chat and they pretty much uh, their names always start with cat bot underscore and then like random symbols a similar one is like the aka best like those are pretty much the same thing. Then there's the group bots that ask you to to get Robux on a scam site or go to a fake game on a group. Uh, once again, I've uh, kind of talked about those, but still. Then, of course, then there was those YouTube bots that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, and they often, if not always, have random uh, time stick stamps in quotation marks in their comments and some of them even have a sentence in another language comfort comforting the person when translated then there's the clear girl bots who try to friend you and their name usually has a clear girl underscore random female name and if you accept the request they spam you they pretty much start spamming you scam sites and your messages and uh back like Last year during the election, uh, there were there were political bots who told you who to vote for. Their name would usually sound like something like, 
I don't know, they'd usually have the name of a candidate, 2020, and then underscore, and then random numbers. They, they usually got terminated pretty fast, and for obvious reasons, because politics, especially here in the United States, is a very divisive thing. And, of course, given the fact that the majority of Roblox's player base is too young to vote in the United States, that kind of uh, makes it... There's no real reason to mention politics. And Either way, these bots usually get terminated pretty fast, and some of them have disabled account creation... It kind of died down after after the election, uh, although chances are, like, although chances are in 2024, we'll probably start seeing them again. So, yeah. Then there's, of course, spam bots that flood old group walls and in-game chat with free Robux scams, and they pursue players with and spam click in-game buttons. Or then there's the follow bots, where your follow, follower list is flooded with with random users that whose names are like check my profile usually in leet speak and random capitalization followed by random numbers they usually get terminated really fast due to their suspicious names and profiles it was very popular like 2017 2018 but it's pretty much died down recently also if you think that you accidentally given, gave your password to a phishing scam you should immediately change your password log out of other sessions and enable two-factor authentication authentication and an account pin and if you download phishing software uninstall it immediately erase cookie loggers run a virus scan change your passwords and create a new robo security token otherwise the account could be used as a scam bot to spread it and if it's the first time your account's been compromised, you can contact Roblox support within 30 days to recover your lost Robux and in inventory. So, yeah. Unfortunately, this only works once because, once again, Roblox moderation stinks. So, yeah. Now, as for how to avoid these scams, uh, avoid game passes and bait and switch games because, well, obvious reasons. And if you look for content deleted in the, and if you see content deleted in the items in items description, like say a shirt or pants or a T-shirt or whatever, uh, that's pretty much avoid buying it because it means that uh, that it has violated Roblox's terms of service. And if little to no users have bought a VIP shirt or Game Pass, uh, try not to purchase it until you. To see if someone has purchased it to see if more people have purchased it I don't know basically just hold off on it and if an item's comments are disabled read or well if an item's comments are not disabled read them to see if any users say whether it's legitimate or not although note that the perpetrator might have made alt accounts or hacked into other people's accounts and and turned said accounts into spam bots to promote the scam so check for accounts that claim it's a scam. And if it's a portrait scam, check the scammer's inventory for any stolen artwork. And also, uh, you can check to see the total amount of drawings in the seller's inventory. And if it's fairly close to the total number of get drawn assets sold, uh, then it might be legitimate. But any huge discrepancies uh, would... Uh, towards the number of people drawn and the assets sold hints towards a portrait scam. Also, some scammers have their names listed on alt accounts descriptions saying th they are scammers when it's not always the case. Uh, if there are a large amount of these accounts, this is something to be very wary of, so, uh, uh, so try to avoid them. And the only way to ban these types of scammers is to poison ban them, which prevents them from creating new accounts on their IP address. It'll terminate their bo the bots and disable account creations, though they often use VPNs to avoid this. Also, avoid programs and websites that aren't created by Roblox developers that ask for login information. Also, avoid downloading uh, strange exe files and never run any program with with administrative privileges unless you know for a fact that it's legitimate. And also, if someone asks you to sp send them specific lines of code from uh, from your browser, 
or from their browser or client, uh, don't do it. Uh, since certain snippets of code contain your things like your Robo security cookie. Also, avoid free premium or Robo uh, Robux comments. Those are like pretty obvious scams, as well as YouTubers that ask you to subscribe to get free Robux, and they they pretty much just do it to to get subscribers. Speaking, of, and the same can be said for Twitter accounts who claim to do so as well. Also, on an unrelated note, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my Twitter. Links in the description below for the Twitter thing. Uh, you won't get any Robux, but hey, there's. you can always unsubscribe or unfollow. I won't judge. <laughs> anyway, uh, then there's also... You, you should also avoid games that use names like Robux. Robux spelled different... Robux, or whether it's spelt normally or spelt differently, or ones that have the Roblox logo or Robux icon as a picture, especially if there's more people playing the game than the total visits. Those are obviously botted and, well, most likely scams. And also, if something seems good to be too good to be true, it most likely is. This doesn't just go for Ro Roblox; it goes for real life as well. So yeah. Uh, just don't let your personal desires be easily manipulated, since that's what scammers rely on. They rely on impulsive decisions after someone sees or hears about something they want. And also, uh, for those scams that, with fake profile links, check every character of the link to make sure it's a Roblox link. Since sometimes they use WWV instead of WWW, or Roblox-Web instead of Roblox. Basically, a normal Roblox profile link would be HTTPS colon double slash www.roblox.com slash users slash user ID, with user ID being the player's ID, slash profile. You can also easily determine a bot if it uses free items, has an unoriginal or repeatable username, or just like spam numbers and letters or whatever. They join the game and immediately say some, and they immediately say something that has all caps or emojis or whatever. And if someone claims to be an admin, at first ask them which one. They will likely say Roblox, although that is a shared account. Uh, shared shared account, although they they might also say that they're Builderman or David Bazuki himself. Next, check their profile for the badge, since actual admins have a badge. They might claim they're using an alt account, though there's no reason for them to do so. They're obviously lying. And if you're a developer, the thing is, call me Bob, aka Nar Night Barbie, who, by the way, is the creator of Royale High, made a script that blocks the sc blocks scam bots' messages that, uh, that in a way that appears like it, they never existed. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you're making a game, make sure to use her script. Developers also create scripts that prevent users from chatting till they're in the game for a certain amount of time. Or sometimes they make a script that requires the account to be a certain amount of days old. Usually 30. So, yeah. So, if you're a developer and you're making a game, try to use scripts like that. Or if you can't find one, make one. Because otherwise you might find your player base being victims of scams. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this almost hour-long video of me explaining various different Roblox scams and how to avoid them. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, and if you really, really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, following my Twitter, and joining my Roblox group. Because, well, why not? Uh, link's in the description below for the Twitter and Roblox group. Anyway, till next time, take care and have a good one.